This is gonna set me right. What the hell's going on? Oh, I'm gonna not talk with my mouth full. <laughs> Hey child lovers, welcome to A Wonderlust for Life, the channel that shows you European gems for food and memorable experiences. I'm Jessica and you're in for a treat today because I've invited my friend Vicky from Amsterdam Foodie to join me for brunch. Hi Jess. Hi travel lovers, it's great to be here. As you can see, we're sitting outside in slightly rainy Amsterdam, but we're very excited to be here because it's the first time we've seen each other in a very long time because of the pandemic. Mm. So today the plan will be for me to show Jess my favorite brunch spot and for her to show me her favorite brunch spot. So let's get eating. I've ordered a fermented chili Bloody Mary. Had a few too many drinks last night, so I'm hoping this is going to set me right. Yep, certainly spicy. <laughs> While she's enjoying that, I got a juice. I don't remember all, all of what's in it. Uh, apple, celery, some other things. Um, but I'm just all about the hydration, not. I can't, <laughs> I can't do Bloody Mary. <laughs> <laughs> this will set me right <laughs> until we start eating. So here we are at Little Collins, uh, one of my favorite brunch spots in Amsterdam. This is the location in the pipe, but they also have another one in West now as well. It's been around for quite some years at this point, but it's Jessie's first time, so I'm excited to introduce her to it. Yeah, it's uh, amazing. Like We got here right when they opened at 10, yeah. and it just filled up like instantly. Um, so we got two dishes here. So we're gonna have two dishes here and two dishes at my favorite place. Um, so have you had these before? I don't think I've had these exact dishes. Um, this is a silver beer, which is um, poached eggs with um, labneh, which is kind of yogurt, um, and I've and this chili oil, and I've had something similar here before, but they change up the menu pretty frequently, so okay. like, this is actually different from uh, the last time I was here. That's kind of exciting. And I got a uh, brisket, and it also has like the yogurt thing on it with um, some tomatoes and green chili and stuff like that. I think this is juke, this green uh, stuff on the top. It's like um, a Middle Eastern kind of salsa. So let's say. Okay. Um, I would say here they specialize in kind of Middle East infusion type flavors. Cool. Well, I mean, it smells amazing. Yeah. That's what I'm really excited about because I've never really had a breakfast quite like this before. So we are going to dig in and we'll give you our thoughts in a little bit. Perfectly cooked poached egg there, as you can see. It's very silky. Ooh. <laughs> I love that word with eggs. <laughs> If you've watched me for a while, you know I'm not a very elegant eater, so sorry about that. <laughs> oh, is it good? No. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> and the rain hammers down. That's so loud. <laughs> this is just so full of flavor. I mean, I absolutely love this. And for brunch, yeah, definitely, definitely good. I'm gonna try that next, but we're gonna eat amongst ourselves too. You can watch a little bit of that. <laughs> brunch spot. Are you ready for this? I am super ready. <laughs> so we have ordered already and we went ahead, so the plan was only to get two dishes at each place, but we went a little overboard. <laughs> Just a little bit. Um, we need it for the fuel after last night, but uh, I digress. So my favorite dish or one of my favorite dishes is just the traditional eggs benedict, but they have a couple different versions of it. And you got one of those versions, didn't you? Yeah, this is apparently the Emperor's Eggs Royale, which is with smoked salmon, uh, beetroot hollandaise, and what looks like uh, kind hash, of brown? hash browns underneath. Yeah, so very excited to try it. Yeah, and one of the other things that is really good here is if you like kind of that English breakfast, um, 
kind of dish, they have that. And that's what um, Sean got. And then we also got a crispy chicken sandwich. Uh, but I can also recommend the burgers. <laughs> it's, it can be hard to find a good burger in Amsterdam, so I'm just letting you know the burgers are excellent. But one of my other favorite things, um, juice. <laughs> they do a really healthy juice. Um, they have like one of the day, which is really great. And you've been here before, right? I have, yeah, not for many years, but I have been here before. Yeah. And have you had the soda bread? Yes, I think we did, and it was fantastic. So I'm excited to have that again. Yeah, so this is I like Irish soda bread, and it's one of their like top things here. So we are going to dig in, and maybe this is uh, gonna fill us up. I think. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Let's Hopefully. dig in. <laughs> giving the soda bread a try. It's been quite a while since I've actually had this. Still good? It's so warm. Oh, I'm gonna not talk with my mouth full. <laughs> oh, so it was super soft on the inside and it just, I don't know how to describe it. It's like a savory bread. Yeah, almost um, cakey texture. Yeah. It's a very cakey texture and the butter on top is so perfect. Like it adds the layer of flavor to it. So you definitely want to put the butter on top and uh, you get like a really healthy sized. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, isn't it Jess? Look at that. It's so colorful. We've got the salmon, we've got the egg, we've got, you can see the potato under here. So, how's the beetroot hollandaise? Um, let me try a little bit by itself and uh, see. Actually, to be honest, it just tastes like hollandaise. <laughs> oh, but it's pretty. But it's really pretty and pink. And it looks like I'm eating strawberry ice cream for brunch. <laughs> it's true, it does. But you know, I, I like when um, good healthy things are hidden in other things. So I feel like maybe you get the benefit of beets. Maybe. We'll just, we'll roll with that. Oh no, it's going on the other side. Oh. <laughs> That did not go as planned. Did you ever have like dreams of becoming a surgeon or? <laughs> what the hell's going on? Just made a total a mess, mess and an uh, idiot of myself, really. But I'm gonna try hers. Oh, what do you think? I can taste the salmon. Yeah. Like, I don't really taste the beetroot so much, but I think. What I really like about um, restaurants that make good food is sometimes like they can add something and it's not necessarily that you get that flavor, but it does kind of round out a flavor. Adds to the whole dish. Adds yeah. to the whole dish, yeah. yeah. But it was really good, and I'm really sorry I made such a mess of that. <laughs> it just completely decimated my brunch. Uh, Those were the two best brunches in Amsterdam. Have you changed your mind about what your favorite is? I have to say I haven't. Wow. I'm still Team Little Collins. <laughs> That's okay, I, I'm still Team Greenwoods. Yeah. Um, I think it's just, it's like exactly what I want at brunch. It yeah. has juices, it has like every kind of brunch food that you'd want. Why do you like Little Collins better? I think they're just completely different things, right? I think Greenwoods is fantastic for a classic brunch. You've got your mm -hmm. eggs benedict, you've got your full English. It's like a real typical English brunch. Whereas okay. Little Collins, if you want something a little bit more edgy, a little bit more different, that's the reason to go there. I actually totally agree. I mean, Greenwoods also comes with this view, so I'm just saying. That is true. Yeah. You can't beat the view. You can't beat the view. <laughs> well, I want to say thank you so much to Vicky, and she has a, a brunch blog posts, right? I do, yes. Uh, thank you so much, Jess, for having me along today. Uh, yeah, if you want to find out about more of the best brunch spots in Amsterdam, you can go to amsterdamfoodie.nl and search for brunch, and I will be updating that post very shortly. Uh, and also, if you're looking for more than just brunch, I have an entire restaurant guide that you can download on my site as well, amsterdamfoodie.nl. Thank you. And I just have to say that I am always checking her website <laughs> for where to go next. She's always on top of what's new and what's good. So highly, highly recommend. If you like this video, please give it a like and leave us a comment down below. Like if you've been to Amsterdam, where your favorite place to eat was. And if you haven't, where's your favorite restaurant in the entire world? Because we're always, you know. We're always traveling. We're always traveling and we'd love to find new places. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.